my biggest concerns is, is, is not about the government's involvement in X prizes. It's about the gov what I think of as the clash of linear thinking governments with exponential technologies and companies. Uber, Airbnb, 23andMe, and so forth. Where, um, where you've got a, uh, you know, entrepreneurs trying to just make something revolutionarily better. You know, the government's job traditionally, in my opinion, I welcome your feedback on this, is to keep, stabilize things. Right? Keep things so you wake up in the morning and you know that the world is the same as you went to sleep the night before. People, people don't like change. People fundamentally don't like change. But entrepreneurs are all about providing a service that's 10 times better or 100 times better. And so as we start to disrupt the statistic that comes from the Olin School of Business that I quote and I believe in is that 40% of today's Fortune 500 companies will be gone in 10 years. And so that's massive disruption, right? It's, we start to see it with things we think about as Kodak and Radio Shack and Blockbuster, but there'll be a, a lot more coming. And when the government tries to regulate against a technology or a company, whether it's stem cell science or whatever, all that means is the, the researchers and the technology goes someplace else. We live in a world of porous borders and the IP flees as do the people and it just goes it happens in South Korea and China and India, someplace else, and we lose, from the U.S. perspective, lose our dominance. That happened when Bush 43 came out, again, reducing government funding of fetal stem cell work. We went from being number one to number eight in that arena. Uh, so I, I'm concerned about that. I'm concerned about uh, irrational regulation against things that can't be regulated against.